In this video, I'd like to talk to you just a little bit about this phenomenon common to so many of us, loneliness. There are lots and lots of people who feel loneliness, feel all alone, as though nobody cares for them and they are isolated trying to reach out perhaps, and yet in some way unable to do it. Probably over your lifetime you've felt this to some degree. Most people have. I must admit that I haven't felt this loneliness for at least 35, 40 years. I think it's got something to do with realising what I am and what I am not. And of course this, what I am and what I am not, applies to everybody. People identify so much with their own thinking, what goes on inside their heads. And they interpret the feedback of other people often in a negative way. But the point is, if we live in a world filled with lonely people, then obviously it's quite easy to reach out and become friends with at least a few of those people. I'd like to read a little bit from this book by Neil Donald Walsh. It's called Communion with God. It's not a religious treatise, it's not aligned to any particular religion. But here's what it says about loneliness. If you are feeling lonely, see your aloneness as an illusion. Decide that your loneliness means you have not reached out enough to the world around you. How can anyone be lonely in a world full of lonely people? Then choose to recreate yourself anew as one who touches others with love. That's the secret, touching others with love, being kind, listening to them, concerning yourself with them rather than just with yourself. People will welcome you concerning yourself with them. They will no longer feel alone so much, and neither will you. But continuing in the book. Do this for three days, and your whole mood will change. Do this for three weeks, and your loneliness of the moment will end. Do this for three months and you will never be lonely again. What's being said here is getting to get into the habit of reaching out to other people, being empathetic with them, concerning yourself with their issues, listening, being a friend. Before you know it, that loneliness will fall away. Don't focus yourself on your own thinking all the time. In fact, one of the best things you can do for yourself is to be silent. Let your mind run into silence. You might say, I can't do that. My mind keeps chattering away. Ignore the chattering. Don't identify with it. A good ploy is to listen to the next thought which is coming up. What's going to come up next? Focus on it. What's going to come up next? And whilst you're doing that, you, your mind will be in silence. And you'll still be there. The real you, the observer, not the chattering mind with which you've been identifying. If you're feeling lonely, Reach out to other people. 
Do it consistently for a while. And eventually, you will no longer feel loneliness. Being alone in solitude is not loneliness. If you can live with yourself quietly and approve of yourself, be in yourself and be quiet, not trying to escape into entertainment, radio, television, phone calls, etc. If you can be quiet in yourself and approve of yourself and love yourself, you'll never be lonely.